A lot of feedback, a lot of reverberation. Yeah, we're not on yet, Al. Yes, you are. We are on, but we're, on. we're not on the screen, are we? Yeah. Here we go. Hello <laughs> out there in television land. Al Wheel, <laughs> my uh, co-host today. This I'm Herb Blumenthal, and today we're giving uh, El Lauren Glenn a little break from her daily tasks of interviewing people, the Republican, Democratic, Socialist mixture of candidates and advocates. And now we're also, we want to say hello to Nat, but on that, know your place over there behind the camera, and we'll take care of the gaffing over here. Al, you jump in anytime you want, but let me give you a little introduction to what we intend to do for the next 25 minutes or so. And that's to play a little local trivia, little nostalgia about places, people, and things in the Burlington area. And the reason I think this is an important concept is that, you know, the Flatlanders have really taken over this community in the last 10 or 15 years. I agree. And whereas we used to be able to walk up and down Church Street, bump the horn, talk to people, no longer. I mean, we're outnumbered, and we think it's about time that those that are watching this program, hey, you, he, he flipped the dial. They're flipping dials over there. Come on in, stay right there, join us. We're talking about Burlington trivia. You know how they flip those dials. I want them to stay on Channel 17 for the whole Razors. while. Yeah. Our number here is 8623966. What we'd like you to do, throw us a question, or Al, we produce a number of there you go. Uh, very good questions to throw out to these people also. How can there be a question already or something? We haven't even introduced the format of the program. Is that for us already? Oh, go on, come on. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, how are you? Fine, and we're gonna look into the camera as if we can see you. Uh, I have a trivia question for you. Shoot. Name? of the traveling grocery store yeah. uh, and the gentleman that used to drive around and sell groceries out of his truck. Thank you very much for the question. It wasn't a planted question. Alan, you want to take a shot at it? I honestly can remember stealing tomatoes off one side when we were given, <laughs> buying a, an apple for a nickel off the other side. Uh, I know. I, it was Eno's store yeah. at your door. Mr. Eno ran that baby. <laughs> and, and he was able to pull down the flaps on both sides of it. It had a scale that would swing around there. He'd put on the vegetables and he'd stop right at your door. He had a, um, a neighborhood by neighborhood approach to delivery of groceries. Well, I'm going to hand you that one, Herb, because I, I know you remember when he used to do it with a horse. And, uh, yeah, well, thanks a lot. I don't want to. No problem. Makeup. This fellow's forehead is glossing and glowing and up here. The lights are getting to it. By the way, keep talking, Alan. I just, Nat knows what I'm about to do. I can't oh, stand this backdrop. Uh, give gotta, a question, Alan. I've got to keep score. That's one, Herb, for, for you. And uh, I don't give you three. You've got one left. Al, give him a question that you have that we want to try to stump them with. Throw out a question, Adam. Well, I was thinking about this today, and it... And, we were talking about the different barber shops in, in North Street. I Who's a we? I never mentioned a barber. Shop. I wasn't talking to you oh. either. I was mentioning it to somebody else. Go ahead. Um, Herb lived on the south side of North Street. There, the uh, the barber shops in North Street, and, and one that my father went to for it seemed like a hundred years, and it was on the corner. Well, it was not on the corner. It was facing Pickett Street. We lived on the corner of Pickett Street and Manhattan Drive. My mother's still there, by the way, and. Uh, a gentleman uh, ran that barber shop. And you tell me who it was, her. No, I hope you're addressing the audience here. Perhaps some. Well, I was trying to get back at you, but if the I audience know, knows, no. it was. <laughs> I want to say where the third alarm was across from Handy's uh, bar or whatever that was mm -hmm. was called. I remember the shop. I don't. I never frequented that place. To tell you the truth, I grew up in the era of Dan Allen on uh, Lower Pearl Street. Of course, Andy's barber shop Andy's. on North Street. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, our all-time favorite, Mr. Barrows, who had that shop upstairs from Victoriato on Cherry Street. We always hit the biggies, you know? Yeah, but again, that was your south side of North Street. Yeah. Uh, and it showed. Boy, my head really suffered as a result of it. Uh, how about anybody else that could perhaps help us out and name that barber shop or any other specific locales that are long gone to memory? Uh, I got a couple, Al, I want to throw out. Uh, names of uh, local watering holes on on uh, North Street. North Street has been famous and infamous for the number of uh, places mm -hmm. where you could stop for a libation and also for a drink. And uh, I can think of one that is was where the laundromat currently is, opposite the Cozy Nook. There's a laundromat. Mm -hmm. And Paul Liberty had a place there with a very unusual name. Do you remember the particular place, it was like an alliteration, the title. 
was there for about five years in the mid to late 70s. And you don't remember? I'll throw this I, one out. That was called the Purple Pickle. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> there was another one up the street on the other side. It used to be Eddie's, I think. Eddie's. And then it became... I know that I one. think it became the Ginger Man. And the question is that they had a fire in the place when it had changed names once again. I want to know the name of that bar after it was the Ginger Man. Call us at 862-3966. Jump into the fray. If you get our question answered correctly and can stump us, or even if you can't, we got a couple of generic hats we want to give away. So give us a shout and uh, join in this uh, nostalgia get-together. Um, how you know, about places on Church Street? I want to get to some places there. Uh, that's really jarring the memory. Well, I, I was going to try to settle the, uh, the discussion that Herb and I, a very gentlemanly discussion I might mm -hmm. add, uh, about a, uh, a place that is right across the street from where we're sitting right this moment. Um, Herb seems to have a directional problem with uh, <laughs> where Elsie's store was, the second store, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, we discussed and, and agreed upon that uh, just to the south of us, actually about 100 feet from here, is where Elsie had her first store, and then joined, um, which would be this store right across yeah. here, which is Jim's Market, I believe now. Right, I, I know uh, that one, I, and I agree with you. I, my, hey, look, I went you to. You agree with me now, Herbie? Yes, wasn't not the story the, yesterday. Well, <laughs> you know why I was uh, frequenting the, the current location of the Moose Club, because the Moose Club was formerly. How about this um, neon place? Wait a minute. Who asked you to jump in? <laughs> Mind your manners. Know your place. We're the host tonight. I want to know what was where the Moose Club currently is. For years and years. That's why I was in this neighborhood. It was my Hebrew school. I went to Hebrew school right over here. See, at four to six after regular school, I had additional schooling while you were out playing that's ball. That's before my time, yeah, Herb, I actually. Know. My father used to tell me about that. But we used to go over to the various stores during the short recess. So mm -hmm. I do remember. Uh, when Elsie's was over here, but I know... Oh, you see, you're pointing in the wrong uh, place again. Well, over here in back of us, okay. But what was in this here? Robert's Aluminum was there for oh, years, yeah. but I don't have the slightest idea what was in there before. Uh, you mean Jim's? Where Jim's well, Jim's is here yeah. now, but the triangle where you where tried we to call tell me where Elsie's was before, mm. I have no idea what was in there I don't know. Before. You know, what's, this building here is called the, tri the Flatiron Building, right? And that was the site yep. of Kolodny's store. Right there? Yes. Yeah. That was Kolodny's store for years and years. Mm -hmm. It was run by uh, Alec Kolodny's father. So the Kolodny's have been in the food business for a long time in this, in this uh, community. Uh, let's, now we've thoroughly confused everybody, please join us, 862-3966. <laughs> We're talking locales of former markets, uh, barber shops, things like that. On Church Street, I want to know, uh, you as an ex-fireman told me that you were at the last big fire on Church Street where and it was called at that time Centers. Centers. Mm -hmm. My question is give me the two names of that location before it was Centers. It was two specific uh, department stores uh, by two different names. I remember Mon Montgomery Wards being in there. No, it's Montgomery Wards was next door. Very close to it. Uh, what I guess I don't remember it. No, not that Montgomery well. <laughs> Uh, how about the, the corner drugstore? Whoops, we got a call. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, Herb. How you doing? A great show there tonight. Bill, my friend Bill, we need some help. Well, Centers was obviously Lash first, right? That, well, that's right. But what were the ones before it was called Centers? Before Lash, uh, well, there's Fishman's oh, La there. Fishman's is correct, but there was one in between Fishman's and Centers. It was there for... Jupiter. Jupiter, Jupiter is very right. good, That's but there was another one too. Darn it! I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Let me ask I Bill. I only go for so long. You, I know. <laughs> I got the two. Where's the prize? Yeah, you got it, my friend. No, he doesn't get it. This guy, and Ori J said it when when Bill played baseball, had the largest hat size in the history of BHS <laughs> baseball. So I don't think he can wear this one. I don't want it's to yours. Hurt back with it. I'll come back tomorrow. But I think the store there also is called the Wonder Store. I think you might be right, Herb. Bill, thanks again for calling. Appreciate it. Okay, Herb, keep it up. Huh? Thanks. Yes, sir. I think I'm it was called the Wonder Store. Your, your research now, Herb. Well, what else can we throw at him? Um, <laughs> oh, yes. Being from the old North End here, Riverside Avenue contained a manufacturing plant, a soda factory. Uh, Burlington's and Chittenden County's only made soda right here in this county. Squirt. 
Well, that was a brand that they carried. I think Squirt may have been a, a regional beverage, but this company handled Squirt, and but also had the best birch beer, remember cream mm -hmm. soda, also distributed Vichy water in the quart containers with the Squirt thing, Three Stooges days, you know. But what was the name of that beverage company? You're asking me again. Well, you or indirectly our viewers at 862-3966, Hey, it's going to be a long half hour. Well, we Jump to, right in, folks. We used to buy this stuff, however, at uh, Mrs. My favorite store in, in growing up was uh, Mrs. Frank's Market. I don't know if it was Frank's Market or Frank's. Frank's, Frank's Creamery. Wasn't it called Frank's Creamery? Frank's Creamery, yes. yes sir. Uh, again, we're rolling now. Hello, you're on the air. Hi, guys. Champlain Beverage. Champlain Beverage. Absolutely correct. Please, give us a question now and stump the chumps. <laughs> oh my God! I just happened to turn you on, I did, and I caught that right away. Those are old friends of mine from years back on on Riverside Avenue. Mike. All right, now well, we have you. You can get a soda right near that location. You could also go in and get a loaf of bread. Brown store, or uh, which one is on a corner? Benny Labados. Uh, I'm talking about the bakery. Oh, the bakery. Oh, Ruben's bakery. Ruben's bakery. <laughs> absolutely right. And I think in the free press it indicated that the first bagels uh, were at the bagel bakery or something. But uh, hey, Rubens yeah. had bagels a long time ago. They, they made some beautiful stuff in that, that place over there. Yes, sir. Bring back a lot of good memories right there, buddy. Hey, thanks for calling. Yes. Call us again. Give us a question, all right? If I, if I think of a good one, I'll call you back. Beautiful. Hey. Thanks for joining us. Okay, sir. Bye-bye. Eight six two three nine six six. See, it's easy. It's non-threatening. Non-threatening. Uh, here's one. The location of Ben and Jerry's. Everybody says, "Oh, Ben and Jerry's. Well, this is a spot, you know, right at that corner of uh, uh, what is that? Ch uh, college and uh, Walk St. Walk. Paul. All right. Yeah. What was there originally before Ben and Jerry's? Before Ben and Jerry's, I want to know what was at that location. At what corner now? Uh, St. Paul and College Street. I'll tell you one thing. It, way back, it was a gas station. They always say, "Ah, oh, Ben and Jerry's was at a gas station mm -hmm. site." I want to know. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I missed one. I'm right in the middle of a good trivia question. This one is: What was at the location after it was a gas station, and before it was Ben and Jerry's? After the gas station, before Ben and Jerry's, it was an all-night spot. It was called. Well, I'm going to hold that out there. Somebody's been there. It was an, an all eating night spot. There's a lot of people out there that have the all night spots. A lot of people have indigestion to prove it, too. Another little eating establishment for the late night gores on Cherry Street next to Victory Auto Store. What was the name of that? Stonehouse. The Stonehouse, you son of a gun. You son of a I don't a need a hat. You gave me one last year for fishing. Stonehouse, you remember that. There was probably the smallest eatery in North America no. located on Pearl Street. Okay, listen, hear me out. Okay. I mean, when you went in there and closed the door, the doorknob got on a seat with you. <laughs> that place was small. I wouldn't say it was small, but the mice were hunchbacked. What was the name of that little eatery almost across from Isles Market, right around in that vicinity, like Kitty Corner from there? You don't think I know that, do you? Uh, I know you do, because you've been in a lot of bad eateries. I never missed the one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was near... The immortal Fat Ernie's Barbershop. That's correct. Be between there and the... Uh... Maybe somebody knows here. Don't give it out okay. yet. Hello, you're on the air. Uh, I think that was the doghouse, wasn't it? That's uh, it. The doghouse is correct. That's Didn't it. they used to have a, a board and they had the initials on there with a long saying and you were supposed to win you something? Tell me if you... The initials meant if you can tell me what this sign reads, I'll buy you... Uh... Something like that. I'll... Will you buy me a hot dog? That was it. You that was got whole... it. Strangers. My friend, you got that question correct. You're an old Burlingtonian, and we like to have you aboard. How about throwing one in our way? Oh, that's tough. Uh, hmm. How about another late night uh, eatery outside of Burlington, right at that intersection where you're turning left on White Street to go to the airport? There was another eatery out there. God, what? I wouldn't know that one. Well, you are old. <laughs> he really am. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I had it for a minute, now I forgot it was run, I know it was one of the, the Grinder House is what it was called. Oh, yeah. The Grinder House. Yep. I knew it would come back to me along with my indigestion. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions you can throw our way, sir? We really would appreciate it. Well, not at the moment, but if I think of one, I'll call you back. Thanks a lot. Thank you. 862-3966. I'm going to take a herb down the street here. And oh. I, again, I'm, I'm, 
I was talking to the uh, the mayor of uh, Winooski Avenue. You know who he is. I know he is. Uncle Leon. Uncle Leon. Yeah. What's he asking? And Paulita, too. No, Aunt Paulita knows her places. Yeah. Especially well, bingo halls. getting on an age here, you know. He's, well. She had to fill in a few of the spots here. But right behind us here. Yeah. Um, which actually... Um, well, there's one of the other trivia questions. Leon owns the house down here, mm -hmm. and as a small child, um, there was a a fire at where Leon is living right now. Yeah. And there was a there was a merchant that lived that was in there when the fire started. And I ha that house actually is the house the last house before this last dramatic fire. Yeah. That was the, the the house that was saved. There was a fire in there, and there was a business in there. Um, there was I know Mr. Stone had a store. A grocery store, that was not it? Hello. Hi there. You're on the air with us. All right. This is Bob. I live in South Burlington. Okay, Bob. Um, you're talking about eateries, a popular eatery that I used to frequent uh, back in the early days. Mm -hmm. On the corner of North Street and Park Street. North and Park. Right. North and Park. Let's get some eateries down. Dell's Pizza. Dell's? Dell's Pizza. That's you got it. Thank beautiful. You. Dust beautiful. Ten, ten inches Thanks for calling. <laughs> I've got another pizza place right up the street here, too. And it had a whole large pizza, 50 cents. And this was a little Italian fellow. And do you remember the name of that particular pizza shop? Right up no. the street. It was there for about, I don't know, three years. It was called Pasquale's. Pasquale's, Pasquale's <laughs> Pizza Shop. Gorgeous place. Beauty. <laughs> yeah. Hello, you're on the air. <laughs> Now he wants to talk to Larry. Uh, hey, you're supposed to be behind the camera, not on the phone, annoying us. 8623966. He's getting on my nerves. Yes. Hello? Are you okay. going to be on the air with us? I just wanted. To oh, no, she's talking on another line. Uh, you were asking the question. I don't Anyways, know. Anyways, what's the story? There was with a the business fire? over there when I was a, a young sprout, and, uh, and there was a fire. The night I was there, we lived upstairs. Downstairs, there was a business down there that was burnt out. Don't know. The Burlington Brush Shop. See that that gets me. It, see that's your familiarity with this particular neighborhood, which is two buildings up from that. This way, yeah, there's another store still there. They sell, uh, they make cake toppings. Yes, sir. Stuff. That's where Mr. Stone had a grocery store. That's where Mr. Mincer had a store. Mr. Mincer, I thought they all, yes, but was the brother of the Mincers that was on Pitkin Street. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful question. My God, you, you <coughs> flowed well on that one. Thank her. you, sir. How about going back into the <laughs> early 50s? Now, this is these people can't believe this. I'm sure they can't. I'm talking about being able to purchase a new vehicle, new or used vehicle, mm -hmm. but you wouldn't have to go out to Shelburne Road, nor Williston Road, no, nor to Essex or Williston or St. Albans. You could purchase a new car in the confines of downtown Burlington. And I'm going to throw these out at you. Or you, uh, and you can call us at 862-3966, and I'm going to ask you, where would you buy this brand of car? And I've got a few of them. Where could you purchase a Ford in downtown Burlington? What was the name of the distributor? Okay. A Ford, we've got, how about a Dodge? I'm talking downtown Burlington mm -hmm. area, greater Burlington yep. area. A Buick, or a Chrysler, or a Lincoln Mercury. You got a call on line two. Th on line two. They broke up the monotony. Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, this is Mr. Lemia. How about Yandles on Winooski Avenue? All right, what could you buy there? What brand? Uh, Pontiac. Pontiac, absolutely yep. correct. While well, I have you, sir, how, let's start from the top. How about a Ford? Where will you go for a Ford? Uh, North, not North Ford, no. On St. Paul Street, right next to St. Paul's Church. That's right. What was it called? Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, let me give you a hint. You could also there was also a used car lot by the same name up in Upper uh, Main Street in Winooski. Remember, he was a sp no. Uh, he had used car. I saw him sponsor the Dusty Boyd show once. He said, "For all you people there that want to go up there and steal them apples, I got a nice pickup truck for you. I haven't been used in ten years." Smitty, remember Smitty? Smitty's used yeah. cars. Well, this was called C. P. Smith. Was your how about your Dodge dealer? Uh, Located at the beginning of North Avenue. Uh, 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 Why? Geez, I your Sir, voice. can you turn your sound down on the TV? Please turn your sound down. And then we won't get any feedback. Ah, that's, that's it. That's better. How about a Buick? Uh, well, late, uh, late view Buick on, uh, was on the corner of Main and uh, 
Uh, what the heck is it? Uh, Pine Street. Wasn't there also on Main Street, McGreevy Buick? Yep, yeah, that was before Lake, Lake yep. Buick. Yep. And how about the uh, the Plymouth at Brewer Brothers? Brewer Brothers on... Um, where Acme Glass... Know. That's right, right, where Acme Glass is. Yep. Here's going way back. I don't know if you'll remember this, sir. The Willys car, which, you know, stopped production in the mid-50s. Where could you purchase a Willys car? I don't know if that was uh, the Hudson people on... on Avenue or not. Mm, I think this was on Battery Street for a while. Cody and Savage. Battery Street, right. Cody and Savage. So I'm telling you. They had the Hudson's what was on uh, Elmwood Avenue. There you go. Yeah. Hey, we appreciate you participating with us. Let, Maybe let, we can do this again. Down. Hold on. Who was the, there was another dealer on the corner of North Avenue and Lakeview Terrace. Mm. Uh, yeah. That, that was a Dodge Beat. C.H. Goss. Brewer Brothers. Uh, no. No, it was on the corner. C.H. Goss, C.H. Goss, he's C. H. right. Goss. You're right, sir. Okay. Hey, thanks for calling. That was a Plymouth dealer also, I think. We can't, we can't leave out Pecors down here on Archibald Street either. That's right. Hello? I missed one. Darn it. I missed one. We had one, and I didn't know how to manipulate the machinery. Please Modern call us back. No, no, it's me. 8623966. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Gaffin. Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, what was the name of the bakery on Rose Street? Rose Street Bakery. Is that where you could get... Um, Nabisco. Yes. He's got it. She's Nabisco got it. Bakery, yeah. we got to avoid... I'm thinking further back to that. Mystery I'm, voice. Where'd that come from? I don't know, but she's better be spoke, speak when spoken to. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for calling. Thanks. Um, I'm going to try line two and see if it works. Hello? You're on the air. Hi. We're going back a ways. Williston Road, South Burlington, yep. where the Super Road. Place standing. What was there before the Subaru? Now hold on, ma'am. Subaru dealership. I know that's going out of town for me. You know, going. Uh, You're not talking about the Dilly Wagon, are you? Yes, I am. Who, yeah. who was the I first manager? Hurt. Who was the first manager of the I Dilly don't Wagon? No. Little Al Ritchie was the first full-time manager of the Dilly Wagon, and they had three sauces, right? What were they called? I don't know. I just went there for the ice cream. Well, well, boy, you that after the dilly dogs. That's right, those dilly dogs, I guess. I never would touch one, but they had three three brands of sauce, hot, hotter, and holy cow. And or something lousy, like that. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for calling, ma'am. Appreciate it. Uh, we're going to go line one. Hello, you're on the air. I got a question for you. Beautiful. Uh, what was the name of the bakery that used to be next to the old cathedral school? I got you. Madeline's. That's right. They had the best cream-filled donuts in the world. And they were one of the first places that came out with around here, the donut holes. Wonderful. And that's right. And we used to get day-olds there. Remember there? When we were a little short, we'd go back the next day and get uh, uh, bags of day-old donuts. Right. But uh, we appreciate it. Thanks for giving us a call. Bye. Right. Hello, you're on the air. Yes, I was wondering if you knew what the eatery was where O'Halloran furniture store was. Wow. On oh. Hold on. Road. Shelburne Road? On Shelburne Road where O'Halloran's. Hold on one second. Ah. One second. All right. I don't know. You stumped us, sir. What is it? It was the uh, ice cream parlor. Ice cream parlor? Was that the name of it? Or a particular name? Uh, I'm trying, <laughs> no, I'm trying well, to think of the name. Well, well while I have you, uh, you know if you're going out uh, past St. Michael's towards Essex Junction, right. Fanny Allen Hospital is on the right-hand side. Right. What little restaurant, and I always love the name of this, it was probably late mm, 40s, early 50s, it was the name of a restaurant. I'm looking for it. It's a French name, that, if that's a clue for you. A restaurant right opposite the Fanny Allen Hospital. Right, I know where you mean. It's right, right across the road. Where the, there's a... I think there's a laundromat or something there, or a, a Photoshop or something. I don't know what's there now, but... No, there, there's a, there's a uh, quick stop, like they sell okay. right there now. Uh, see if I'm right. I recall it being the Ceci Bon restaurant. Ceci Bon? Ceci Bon. Yeah, hey, that's <laughs> where all the nurses and doctors... Excuse my pronunciation, but one. I think it was you called that. that one. Right. Thanks for calling. Yeah. Line one. Line one. Hello, you're on the air. What's the name of the delicatessen next to the Strong Theater? Uh, the Dutch Treat. Oh. You thought you had me, but my belly got many a good salami and pastrami <laughs> sandwich there. Keep it up, chump. Thanks a lot. <laughs> he called us chumps, too. He called us by a right name. Talking to you, Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, Chuck, you remember the Packard place where we're uh, on, uh, oh, on North Union Street where Palmer's is now? Yeah, but I don't remember what it was called. Line 
What was it called? I can't remember myself. I remember my father yes. bought a Packard yeah. years, where the, years, years ago. Right, where the uh, Palmer's Funeral Home is now. There uh, was a, a car dealership yeah, there. Yeah, I was just wondering if you could remember what it was. Somebody will get it for us, though, sir. Okay, thank you. Thanks for calling. Bye. Right. Bye-bye. I think I blew it. Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, what was the name of the garage? This one's for Alan. Good. What was the name of the garage across from Mail Subaru? On the the garage. Mm. There. You stopped him. You stopped him. Come on. You, you don't know. He's one of the best mechanics in town. Yeah, I, I hear you. I'm feeling I'm being hung out to dry by one of my old mechanics. I think so. <laughs> Max Garage. Pax? Max Garage. Max Garage. You remember that? Ask Al. Al, this is for Alan. Yeah. Uh, who was the, who's the guy that lost more bets for the Red Sox? Putting on the Red Sox on the Yankees. I hope you're a Yankee fan. Hey. I really don't. He's asked you a direct question. I want a direct answer. Who did yeah. you lose more bets to betting on the Red Sox when I was a Yankee fan? See? When you were a Yankee fan. That makes it, that makes oh, it better. Well, I still am. Well, See, good. Do you know who that is? Obviously. you got to know who it is. I've lost a lot of bets over the years, I'll tell you that. <laughs> See? <laughs> Cliff, thanks for calling. Thanks for calling. Now there's a name so we got the some past. more or are we all done? We all caught up? No. Line two. Hello, you're on the air. Yes, hi. Uh, the name of the department store where the, um, the new uh, Burlington Square Mall is. The department store where the Burlington Square Mall. Uh, Cherry Street. Yeah, well, on the corner of Cherry Street uh, was Woolworths. Right. That's and next to it was Kresge's, okay? Now, while I have you on the line, though, keep going down that street, okay? Woolworths, Kresge's. There was a shoe store. It's still there. Yeah. What's What's the shoe store? Kinney's, okay? Okay. My question is, there is a little men's store right next to Kinney's. It had its window street level, but you had to go downstairs into the men's store. You yeah, have to ask my dad on that one. That was before my time. Okay. Well, I thank you very much for calling. You're into the dad question. <laughs> well, no, it's my generation because I went there for I husky know. pants. <laughs> <laughs> Auditorium. Hey, and you still got Auditorium, them. I answered. Hello, you're on the air with us. All right, let's talk about coffee houses. Java, go ahead. Uh -oh. Okay, the coffee Late house night. on Main Street in Winiski. Ooh, Bill's Diner. No. Oh. Main Street in Winiski. Coffee House Nightclub. Co coffee House Nightclub? What, what years? American, uh, what year are you talking? The 60s, uh, mid-60s. Nightclub? The Co American restaurant was there. No. Main Street, Winiski. Ted and Gertz? No. No. Nearby, though. Well, there's a drive-in. You, you stopped us. You stopped us, I don't know, Winooski. I don't know any place in Winooski. You're never so. allowed to go in Winooski. I wouldn't want to go. No. I don't. It was a good place. It was called the Third Thumb. You got, now wait a minute. The Third Thumb, do you realize, I remember that. It was a coffee house. You're correct. In, in its 50s terminology, coffee house. Right. And I believe that when um, uh, President Johnson made a visit here and stopped at Battery Park, that was, there were some accusations that FBI people uh, actually frisked people and asked IDs and everything of people coming out of the third thumb. Do you remember that? No, I don't. We used to play there. We used to have a band that used to play there. It was a pretty good place and nice, you, you know. It, yeah, it was. I remember it. Do you remember the little Mexican restaurant that started up across the road from there by the same fella that made a success of the bagel bakery? Oh, man, no. No, I don't. It was called something, the green... Oh, the green... The, oh, no. I can't remember myself. Somebody will get there. How about the one on, on Church Street in Burlington? That's an easy one in the 50s, in the early 60s. Yeah, the, the Fresh Ground Coffee House. Yeah. Thanks a lot for calling. Okay. Are we on with uh, somebody else? Or? No, one more minute, though. We, one Sorry. more minute. Oops. Okay. Oops, what? We got another one? No. No. Oh, God. No. Well, oh, I had one to cut out. Hello, you're on the air. We got about a minute. No? Hello, you're on the air. Hello? Yes, sir, you're on the air. Uh, what was the toboggan run that used to be popular around the turn of the century? I believe it was near the rotary down, be, uh, you know, where Christ the King Church is. I heard it was uh, over by the, the inner veil. They used to... Uh, Clodney's Hill. <laughs> Pardon? You could take the sewer pipe at Clodney's and, and end up in the lake if you weren't careful. You mean Gully, Gully Road. Or, Clodney's yeah. Hill. Okay. Clodney's Hill, which is the road now going down to uh, Al, Depot Al, this has been fun. Maybe they'll invite us back again. Maybe for 10 minutes next time instead of a half hour. Uh, how much longer we got in that? 10 seconds. 
Um, my name is Herb Blumenthal, and I want to thank you for watching, and I want to thank Al Wheel for joining me this thank evening. You. And uh, we're extending it, but we're done. That was fast. Hmm. That was neat. Can is I go to the good? bathroom now? I'm not talking <laughs> another word until I go to the bathroom. Hello. Hmm. You, just, you didn't give all, all your hats away. That hasn't changed. We got some calls. Yeah. You got a lot of calls.